Hello and welcome. Now then, we're taking a new turn today. I have decided to show off a little bit of tech it. So uh, what we have here is water output, fuel output, and these combustion engines. Now these combustion engines are feeding into this wooden connective pipe, which will channel power into the HV converter and power at an FSU for us. However, you can tell there's a few things you need for combustion engines, and a lot of people do not like putting torches. Combustion engines are volatile and can blow up. You should see in my intro a quarry that's powered by three combustion engines blowing up. Granted, it took quite a while to blow up, but uh, if you're not there, they will blow up, and this is a lot of stuff to remake again. Because this here, these combustion engines will take out your MFSU, your HV power transformer, and everything. Now, the other way you can do this is there is actually a teleport pipe that can go here. So, what I'm just quickly going to show you is I've set up over here a little well. And this is where all our water is going to come from when we turn it on. Now this is going to come over here. This here is our oil well as well, which is where we're getting oil from. Because I wanted to demonstrate this using fuel. As you can see, I have three fuel buckets here. This is to fill up the combustion engines here, which are powering a refinery. Now this has already been set up as a safe kind of haven, but we'll get on to explaining that. So anyway, this here is getting the oil from there and passing it into the tank. The tank will fill up with oil but it will be passed through by this redstone engine into the refinery. Once passed it to the refinery, the refinery will change the oil, with the power of the combustion engines, into fuel, pass it into this tank, and teleport it back over there for us. Now what we want to happen at the moment is everything over there will not be turned on at the moment. We're just going to fiddle around with this bit and get our refinery up. So, let's start nice and slow, okay? The combustion engines here, I said, will set up safely. Now if you look at them, You'll probably not notice anything different than just a bit of piping, apart from this pipe here. This pipe is actually a redstone waterproof pipe. Now, I can take out this, because we won't be needing that. Uh, let's just go ahead, get some dirt, and get rid of the torches, because we will not be needing torches to power the combustion engine. We won't be needing any redstone at all, apart from the waterproof pipe on top. The way the waterproof pipe works is, when liquid passes through it, this waterproof pipe will emit a redstone pulse into the next block, which is our combustion engines. So it will start it. Now the reason that this is a safe kind of haven, is uh, water being pumped in through here and into the combustion engine, will always make sure the combustion engine will never explode. If you lose water, then the combustion engine can overheat and can explode. But it can't run if there's no water passing through the redstone waterproof pipe here. Which means that if our water is cut off and this pipe is receiving no water so our combustion engine could blow up, it will actually cease functioning because there's no redstone input to it except the pipes. So uh, we'll go ahead and set off the water now so I can just show you about it. I'm actually going to need redstone torches for this. So uh, we'll get rid of this pump here and we will just type in quickly redstone torches and get 64 of those. So we want to set this up how everyone sets up their... Uh, I mean obviously you don't ever need to use four on this but uh, I'm using four redstone torches and four redstone engines. You can use less, it'll just mean the water is pumped slower. Now as you can see they've already started up and the water will come out of here and into there from our ocean that we have. Uh, now one thing that I will have to point out is that the miner, well the pump does really take a lot of water from the ocean. And uh, I had a save where it absolutely devastated the ocean. It was like three blocks deeper and it really had a problem. But I was doing a lot more with that water. I was draining it into strainers in order to get energy, which we'll probably look at in another episode. I'm hoping to do like quite a bit of this. But anyway, what should happen now is these pipes here should be connected to the water. Yeah, look, there's the water flowing in. Now the water, when it passes through here, is actually powering these combustion engines. Now you won't see at the moment because the combustion engines have nothing to run off. And uh, I've linked this up so it will come with the fuel. So what we're quickly going to do, because uh, I'm going to have to film this in two chunks, because uh, we need some fuel to be converted and sent to that pipe there so they can be sent back round into here. That is the reason for me having three buckets of fuel here. I'll just go ahead and get rid of this dirt and get one more fuel bucket so we can put two in each one of these. Now fuel is a lot more efficient to use than oil, so you're going to want to use fuel. So we'll just pour two buckets in there, right, and then we will come over here and pour two buckets in here. 
Now, they're not winning at the moment because there's no oil in the refinery, so there's no need for them to be on. Same as if you don't have a wooden pipe in front of a redstone machine, they will not start. So, we'll just start this up now, which will start to slowly pump our oil into this pipe here. And the oil will be pumped down into this tank. So, uh, we'll just come over here. These here are teleport pipes. Uh, I think they're a new addition to TechIt, but I found them really handy. You right-click them, and you set it to a frequency. Now, because this is taking oil and putting it in this tank for us, as you can see, I've set it to can receive true. Pressing switch here will change that to can receive false, and it will not accept any. Now, as you can see, the oil has come in, it's gone into the tank, and immediately been pumped forward into the refinery, so that the refinery can be powered up and start working. Uh, at the moment, I have no idea why these combustion engines are actually setting off. Uh, maybe they've not got enough oil in them. Uh, we will solve that in a second. But at the moment, as you can see, the oil will now be pumped into this refinery and fill it up, and then it will be pumped forward to make fuel for our combustion engines. Then over here, I will be showing you how, by using redstone uh, waterproof pipes, you can set up uh, combustion engines like this to do absolutely anything. We don't necessarily need those hot torches on there, but I do have them at the moment. So, um, at the moment we just need to get these combustions online, and they will be making us some most excellent uh, fuel. Uh, I'm just going to stick redstone torches here, which might just activate them. Now, if any luck, I think it's because the water is not passing through quickly enough at the moment to send the redstone signal into the combustion engine. But uh, I did have another world that I uh, used to go on, of which this actually worked completely. Now, this is not exactly a safe setup at the moment, because this water could stop any moment. This combustion engine could use up all the water that's in it and get none from the ocean, which would mean that it would overheat and turn a dark red colour, which would explode, of course, taking the refinery and pretty much all the oil and fuel that we have. This fuel here is actually being sent at the moment, it should be sent to the back of these, and it should be sent over there. Now, uh, we'll just check these up. Ah, I've not switched them to false. So as you can, uh, true. As you can see, when I switched it to true, oil started coming through. And on this side, obviously, it's already on true. So that's taking it in there. So we'll fly back over here now, so that I can show you that it's also coming in through our uh, oil, well, fuel output. And that's where it's going to sit at the moment. Uh, we've got a water output here as well. Now, these will be lost at the moment, but uh, that's not a massive problem, because as you can see, there's quite a few oil around, and this is actually quite a big well that I found. Uh, this little iron block here is not necessary, but uh, I usually build like a little structure on there, and I thought this looked quite pretty. The other thing that you'll notice about oil is, if you have the quantum suit, you can go underwater. Now, uh, this might appear a bit dark at the moment, but if you float down, you can actually get to the bottom of the oil well, and it will show you how big it is. I mean, I can't see anything at the moment of how big it is. It must be absolutely massive. Uh, it actually drains out quite a lot. But uh, it goes even deeper than this. I won't take you all the way to the bottom, because there's no way for me to light it up in glowstone at the moment. I don't want to get rid of any oil that I've got. Uh, it's actually next to a ravine as well. As you can see, it's pouring down there. So the oil will come in and pour through here into the tank, and then through to there. So uh, we're slowly making ourselves some oil. I will go rig up the pipes over here now, so you can just have a quick look-see and see what happens. We'll uh, just pipe these round. Now this is, of course, our fuel output, and this is the water output. The water output wants to be redstone. And if I put it on like that, and then bring it around here, unfortunately that's probably not the best design. Uh, I'm not going for really awesome designs, so I wouldn't really follow this pattern. But essentially, what I could do as well, if I really, really wanted to, is uh, I could set this up. So, these combustion engines all had one teleport pipe behind them. Well, a water... Oh, no, that's bad. <laughs> Don't connect. Uh, these here could actually have a little teleport pipe behind them, pumping water in. Because this setup right here now will pour water here, but it's splitting it off in several ways. Now, the problem with this is, obviously, that... The water's just going to get quite small on this side, but on this side it's going to be a lot fuller. So it's not exactly the best setup I've got here. You need to really distribute it evenly. And the sun is going down, so I will just quickly turn this back to dawn. Okay, so it's time to wiring our fuel. 
Now our fuel, uh, let's remove those redstone torches. And hopefully this should work. Okay, so the fuel is actually going to go on top of these. So we'll get rid of one of these buckets to give me a plank of wood. Because uh, you can't actually place a pipe directly on top of a combustion engine, or it'll just open it up. What we're going to do instead is just connect them like this, so that it's going into all the tops of them. And then we have to raise it up one, and bring it back round over here, where it will join up with our fuel output. So the fuel will drain up the pipe through there and into them. Now, uh, once these get fuel, and they have water coming in at quite a nice little rate, which as you can see now, it's not that bad. Uh, you can see the pump over there, just a little bit, is uh, it's going green at the moment. Which redstone engines go green, and they can go uh, orangey colour. Orange is the highest efficiency. Red, you want to avoid, because red will just um, make a massive problem. Red basically means that the redstone engines aren't doing as they're meant to. Uh, it slows them down an awful lot. Uh, a lot of people seem to think that red's better, but it really isn't. They have to be orange like this. Like the orangey innards of a Jaffa cake. So, while we've got this going here, let's give this a quick dry and knock this off. Ah, now you see, it's not turned off. Because the water is flowing for this waterproof redstone pipe. And instead of turning off, it is now going to keep going until the water here runs out. And then when the water's full, it pumps again. So as you can see, it's quite a nice little setup. Um, you obviously need quite a good little income of water at the beginning, and it needs to be filled up in the pipes. So these ones here will not set off at the moment, because obviously there's a lot of water drainage, and this one here, as you can see, it needs to be full in order for this redstone pipe here to actually have an effect and fill that up. So uh, what I might do is just quickly change these into teleport pipes, which would be much better, much more efficient, and should hopefully fill up the redstone uh, pipe so you can see what's going on. As you can see, this one now is full and that one's full, so the combustion engines are working fine, no problem. Uh, I do believe they are cutting off at the moment because it's not actually completely full. Uh, the other thing you can use is gold pipes on these. But to be honest, you need a lot of water income. Uh, you could place out a few more pumps, really. Uh, I usually find that one pump can do at least three combustion engines by itself fine. So obviously now we've got this one pump doing five combustion engines. That's the reason why I think it won't work. But the minute we've got enough fuel, and it's uh, coming through quite nicely, what we will do is knock off the redstone waterproof pipes on here and the teleport pipes so they stop taking water from the pump. And these three pipes over here will be the only ones receiving water. Now the good thing about this system as well is because it has to wait until they fill up, it will fill up your uh, combustion engine anyway. And the water going in will just eventually build up and then just go in there nice and easy, bish bash bosh. So uh, these ones here aren't working at the moment just because we've not got a massive influx of fuel, it's just a tiny little trickle really. And uh, these ones here are only a little bit. Uh, the other thing that I might want to just quickly point out is these combustions over here are actually taking some of the fuel for themselves so that they're self-sufficient. They're basically, because I had three buckets of fuel, uh, four buckets of fuel and put two in each, what they did was they powered up this refinery enough so that when this fuel goes through here, it's actually fueling this combustion engine, this combustion engine, and the combustion engines all the way over here. That's the reason why there's not a massive amount at the moment, but we will be changing this around so that you can see. Now, as you can see, these have started up already because the water's full in them and the water is still coming through. So it's filling up that redstone waterproof pipe. Now, these are basically shut off. So as you can see, that one's stopped now because the water has gone out and it was just filling it back up, really. So this water going through now will fill up the redstone waterproof pipe, making this go again. This will use the water. This will pump the water back into it and everything will be hunky-dory, and it will power through and slowly trickle your MFSU with some energy. You can get a dozen of these set up, because uh, with them having this slight security on the back of them, it basically means that they will never explode. You can just have like a, a piece of land just miles away from your house that just powers these into teleport pipes, teleport conductive pipes, which will then pass into this thing, which is a HV energy transformer. It is taking the energy from these 
and transforming it into EUs, which goes through the glass fiber cable into our MFSU. And you can link up as many as you want, but I have found they do have a cap on these of 512 EU per second, which is roughly about two to three combustion engines running on fuel. I believe it's three on oil, two on fuel. So this should actually be generating more than it should be, uh, than we'd normally have. As you can see, the water now is uh, over there, it's on, red, it's on orange, all four of them. So the water here is massively backlogged and it is just flowing through nice and thick. So we'll leave it there and goodbye YouTube.